Why you know it? though? Because all the people who knew have said exactly the same. It's but the how do you know they knew? Because you're talking. It's, it's about experience. When you experience. When but you your experience, experience this, are subjective though. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, 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 Experience is subjective. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But it's the lens. You can look for a lens of a human. You can, you're looking for the lens of a, of a man. Yeah? yeah. I'm not. Thank you. No, no, no. no it's fine. Spud me, spud me. No, it's fine. But I'm looking for the lens of a soul. And it's completely different lens. How do you know though? You try it. Once you try it, yeah, you stop. You, you, you end. It's like, you know when you eat McDonald's every day? Yeah. This is an analogy. Yeah. And then you just try that fruit. Yeah. And that fruit is so sweet and it's so good for you. It's your choice then next time, the next the next meal you have, it's your choice to pick up. But imagine, products. imagine all day you're every day you're always having McDonald's. It's the experience of the fruit. You're having it's the experience of the fruit. Yeah, no, no. But imagine, imagine the fruit you tried. What's a bitter fruit? Like green apples. Pomegranate. Yeah. yeah. You had that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go through life saying, I'm not gonna have fruits no more. But you, you haven't, you haven't experienced the mango though. Brother, uh, I, I was literally walking past here the other day. Yeah. The guy gave me uh, this is oh this is a nice different one. So it was the science of Islam as well. It, yeah. They tried to like put in a lot together. Yeah. It's fine. Again, it's all it's all uh, theory, isn't it? Everyone's got a theory. Even look, Muhammad came, yeah, and it's yeah. like what? Muhammad came Salah with the final word, did he? Yeah, There's yeah. so many other people that came after him with so much of the truth as well, but what? We disregard it. We don't I'm, I'm saying disregard it if there's mistakes in it. Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. All right, so I'll leave you with this. Yeah, look at Bhagat Kabiji. Bhagat Kabir, Yeah, was, so you don't believe in reincarnation, which is fine. Like, you don't yeah. have to believe in reincarnation. Like, it's entirely up to the person. But, but that's my point. You're, you're too too much. I've like, never been reincarnated. How do I know if I've been reincarnated? How do you know, isn't it? What you have some dreams and you think, oh yeah, the dream it, it's not even that. Like I don't know, man. Because at the moment, it's like. You you have a firm belief in Sikhism. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You said I believe in something. Yeah. Believing means there's doubt. There's no doubt, yeah? When you experience, you either know or you don't know. So, so see, that's my point. Or not. You're, you're talking with such certainty about some topics, right? Like, you don't believe in heaven and hell. It doesn't exist. Right, but you're certain my, of if, this. No, 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 no. There's levels. There's different levels, yeah? When you close your eyes, where'd you go? You're still here. You're not. No, no, but then that's the thing. Right now, I know what happens when I close my eyes, when I go to sleep? Because the Prophet Sallallahu said that, look, your soul leaves your body. There you go, where does it go? Yeah. Where does it go? So I can, I, I can tell you that. Where does it go though? I, can, I know exactly where it goes because yeah. that's something that's been explained to me through um, scripture, through revelation. Yeah, well, who wrote that? Yeah. Like, was, wait, who wrote that? And another thing is, yeah, and this goes for everything written down. Wait, wait, let me just respond to that. because no, I think you're just about to make that point. You're saying that just because it was written down, then it means that let's just say by man and then he won't be able to you won't be able to preserve it it can be preserved it can also be tarnished every religion it can be now what what what's your criteria for proof that something's been perfectly preserved nothing in this world has nothing everything's been destroyed okay. nothing is the same how it was when it was first like written let me let me give you some let me give you some evidences yeah um for example first and foremost we have an oral tradition of memorization yeah, you've heard this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what, what, yeah, go on. Yeah, so now, <coughs> that, there's a chain all the way to the Prophet Muhammad who the Quran was revealed to. Yeah, we have documents that are carbon dated by independent people, for example, Birmingham manuscript, yeah? yeah. Quran is carbon dated to the life of the Prophet Muhammad, which is exactly the same as the ones we're memorizing. So how can you argue that it hasn't been perfectly preserved? Has it? You answer the question. You know there's faults in the Quran, you know... There isn't, no, no, there no, no. Is. There Like I've, what? Like I've, what? I've watched like documentaries on the way here today. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I love this, please, corner, please. Though. Bring it, bring it, no, bring no, no, it. Like, what's his name? What's his name? Like, uh, oh, he's the big guy, big Muslim guy, big, bold guy. Speaker's Corner constantly, it's like YouTube, everywhere. Yeah. Mohammed, something Mohammed. Oh, Mohammed Hijab, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mohammed Hijab. Yeah. Even he said, he was like, what about the conversation? He's never said that. No, no, no. Shall I tell you something? Has, has, Shall I tell you why? That would be kufr. No, and then no, they, that would no, be disbelief. Down, but he has, but he show me, bro, for. show me, show me. What about me. the conversation with Shaitan? What about that? What That's about there. that? That's real. Who, who had the conversation with Shaitan? Mohammed did. Because he got lost in himself, in his own ego. It's all there. It's, it's not, all there. The, unfortunately, what's happening is you're taking so snippets I'm not of saying, information. Look, I'm not against Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know I'm, that. I know I'm that. not against any religion. Because yeah. at the end of the day, we're all trying to find that purpose, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's the experience of everyone. No, no, but the thing is, you're, you're, 
you haven't in fact checked this information. I don't need to look. I'm not saying. But then, this but then, is, but I'm then, 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 this, then, then this, this, this is this is going into your belief. This is this is. I have no belief. I'm, have I got long hair? Huh? Have I got long hair? I have not. I haven't got a turban. How? I haven't even got a gutter. I haven't even got a guess. I've got guess. I haven't got long hair. I haven't got a gutter. How am I a believer of Guru Nanak if I haven't even got look like? If you ain't got, got those five signs, yeah, yeah. I haven't got it. So what am I believing? So then you're just picking and choosing, does it make sense? I'm not picking and choosing nothing. Then? I'm listening to the, what the truth is. I'm not saying there's no truth in Islam. There's truth in everything. What I'm saying is... All these bold statements, you're taking one step forward, two steps distorted. back. Everything's been distorted. I could wake up tomorrow, yeah? I could be a firm believer in Muhammad. But I know there's so much so. that goes against humanity as well. Like in what? In every religion, even in Hinduism. I but wait, let's, let's, slow let's slow down, let's slow down, let's slow down, let's slow down. First thing you're talking so about much. preservation of the Quran, yeah? There's no preservation of the And then you're though. talking about a there's mistake. No, there's no preservation of the Guru Granth Sahib to you. Even, even my own text. It's not even a text. There's not even that's preservation fine. in that. Then, that's, that, then you can make that argument. The fact of the matter is, when it comes down to... Um, I think you're called, referring to the satanic verses. Yeah, it's, it's not even a satanic verses. It's a satanic conversation as well. So then they will say, or certain people will say, "Who? Where are you getting this from? It's, it's, who? Who? How did the Prophet Muhammad speak to the shaitan? There's a consensus everywhere. You find it. You tell find me. It. I tell me. Know. I don't even know the own ungs of my own grunt. So I'm then don't talk though, about this subject. Doesn't make sense. Because the thing is, I've been doing this for a number of years, and I'm telling you that look. What you're referencing, there's, there's no sense. That's my point. You haven't. What well, you're failing to no, reference. It's there. What I'm saying is there. But I'm telling you, it's not there. But then that's just your word. Prove to me it's not. How can you prove to me it's not? You, you have got stuff you can you see. You made a claim. Yeah. I said, is you, it there? You I said, is it there? That's the difference. Is it? Yeah. It's there, isn't it? No, no. You said that Muhammad Hijab had this conversation, and then he admitted to it. So I said to you, I pushed you a bit further. I said, what did he admit to? And then you said. Uh, the Prophet spoke to the devil and then there's mistakes in the Quran or something like that. No, they're just saying that there are some pieces that have been distorted. That's all I'm saying. And he's also said it and in some conversations. I can't even tell you which ones. But you'll find So let's, let's leave that. Story. Let's leave that. Because I don't know if you're going to bring something. Because now you've asked me a question. Is it there? I'm saying no. So I've made a claim. So you have to, I have to provide evidence of a negative. I have to provide that something doesn't exist. Does it make sense? You could, you could ask me, this is my claim which I can verify and prove, yeah? The Qur'an hasn't been changed. Okay. That's my claim. Okay. Yeah? It's been perfectly preserved. How would you know from all that time if it has or hasn't? Good question. So, I'm giving you evidences in regards to oral tradition of memorization. I'm giving you carbon dated information, yeah? I'm giving you um, eyewitness accounts. I'm giving you like... I can introduce you if we went Saudi together, right? So individuals, like 19 um, individuals, 19 generations, right? Where this individual met this individual who met from this all the way to the Prophet Muhammad. How did Muhammad get to Spain? Huh? How did Muhammad get to Spain? Spain? Yeah. What do you mean? So how did Muhammad travel from where he was yeah. to Spain? Because he, he travelled to Spain. He did. Okay, go and elaborate. He has. He he took Islam to Spain in like. The ninth century. Yeah. I've watched it, the documentary. I've seen all this stuff. How did how Again. did Islam get to Spain then? See, that's Islam got to Spain. Now that, that's fine. What, what, what's your point? He this, took this, it. this is he one of the miraculous. It. This is one he of the miraculous it. things because you have to ask yourself: How was a unlettered man from the desert able to achieve so much, conquer so much land? Yeah, Spain was, was under the Islamic authority for a thousand years. He all right in nine. In the ninth century, he went to Spain. He had to get there. How did he get there? He got there. I'm, I'm saying this. He got there. Yeah. That's why there's Islam there. That's why there's Moors there. That's why there's Black Spanish people as well, even before him. But then, why is Islam so big in Spain, in that continent, that part of the? You can't just say, oh yeah, magically there's loads of Muslims that went there. He went there. That's the other thing I'm saying as well. He took so many. Um, his I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't well. understand the point you're trying to make. I'm saying well, I'm that I'm not denying the fact that Islam went to Spain, it went even further. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, yeah. Please. Look, there's so much that, that we don't know. Yeah, you're saying that this is 100% written by him. We don't know as well. We don't know. The but I'm not saying he, he the... writ it personally. No, no, I'm saying all the traditions. Yeah, because yeah, he, couldn't, he couldn't read and write. Doesn't make sense. And again, that's another miraculous thing, which yeah. again, I was just reflecting on this yesterday. Like, can you imagine someone who's 
who's, who can't read and write in the language, right? Come with something that so blows the mind of Arabs from then to even now. Does that make sense? Yeah, the Quran to. actually gives a challenge that look, um, if you doubt in it, you have to, yeah, bring, yeah. Bring, bring something like it. Does yeah, that make sense? For sure. And the smallest chapter is three verses. And as of yet, no one has been able to disprove the Quran by meeting that challenge. Does that make sense? I get that, but that's like a, a man-made man man -made challenge. What I mean by man-made is like, you see it, if you can't see it, yeah, it's not there. That's fine, but there's more to the universe than that, yeah? That's, that's what the atheists will argue as well. Again, look, we're going all over the place. I know, the point, I know. The point I'm trying to make, I'm, 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 we can talk about the universe and the origin of life and like the purpose, but I'm just trying to move from one step to another. The first and the first thing is about the Quran. That's the first thing you asked me. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting to as well. Go on. No, 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 no. But let's let's move on from the fact of the matter is, are you happy or dissatisfied with the evidence I brought in regards to the preservation of the Quran? No. What would you need? Does that make sense? Because I, I, I don't know, even non-Muslim academics um, affirm the fact that it's been preserved. It's, it's all right. If it's been preserved or not, yeah, that's fine. No, it's not that. All right, let's like, build on that. The I fact of matter is, against it, no, 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 no. Is, if what? it has, because we're not, we're not having an argue, no, like no. fight, fight. We're, what we're doing is, look, if it has been preserved and it's a consensus, then are you not inclined to read it? I am inclined to read it. I've, have I've, you read it? I've, I've not read it yet. I want to read it. I've got this piece. I oh. will read it. Sorry, my bro. Thank I've you. I've gone through Bob the Geeper, yeah? Done yeah, that yeah, one. Here you go. I'm not saying I've done it. It's just for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, English translation. No, no, no. I will read it. I will. I have to because it's part of it's part of knowing as well like you're saying isn't it yeah. and obviously i give it x amount of respect as well yeah. but it's like um when you start following the person rather than following what the person says you've lost like the essence of what the person is saying isn't it so that's why when you said to me do i follow guru nanak yeah i follow exactly what he says yeah, every no, no, day, every based on day. what you know you're saying these things right based on experience trust me no, no, but then who, who, how are you qualified? So right now, you're think, talking as about as your, as a human, as a human, you all your subjective yeah? experiences, and I'm referencing a man from God. Do you I know am how am much of a big, big, big claim well. that is? Yeah, I am as well. Who? Gunanik is a man from God as well. Okay, he's, he's a but then you're saying that his stuff hasn't been preserved. It hasn't, it hasn't. So many people's hasn't, hasn't, yeah? It's, it's up to you what you take. If you can find it, it's up to you. Like, you know when, like, for example, all right, you got blue shirt, yeah? I'm blind. Yeah. Yeah. You got a blue shirt. Yeah. You're gonna tell me you got a blue shirt, but I can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're telling me, ah, and I, I don't know if you're a nice person, innit? I just make. Yeah. But if I'm blind, I'm definitely gonna trust you. Your shirt is blue because you're telling me every day your shirt is blue, innit? Yeah. I'm gonna believe you. Yeah. I don't know though. Yeah. Because I can't see. But because I trust you and everything, all the experiences you're telling me are telling me the shirt's blue. So eventually, I'm like, yo, next person asks me, I'm no, like, no, it's not, it's not. No, eventually, the I'm fact of the matter is that. you build a trust. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to prove myself. On experience as well, because life is experience. We can all know books. You can read this, I can read this, yeah? I can know every verse in this, but if I don't experience it, like you said, there's three verses in the Quran, yeah? Nothing can disprove it. But if I no, 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 the entire, the whole, everything. Yeah. I'm saying the linguistic miracles of those three verses, no one can bring something similar to it. Does it make I'll, sense? I will read it, yeah? But the thing is, Every text, everything, anything that's spiritual or not, just take from what the person is saying, but take it with 100% love, yeah? Because we're all talking about one thing. It's one creator, isn't it? Yeah. The only thing is, yeah, all right, so Islam, we talk about the creator is outside. Of the creation, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Gunanik says everyone is part of the creation. It's, yeah. it's a bit different, but when you experience... Pantheism. It's not, it's not. So, you, so like what? Islam is mono, monotheistic. Monotheistic, yeah. yeah. And then you got pantheism. Then you got like polypantheism. You got this, yeah. all this other stuff. Yeah. yeah. So help me to understand. Now, let me let me just try and say one thing. Here you go. When you experience, and this is a when and a if. It's not like a yes and a no. It's not black and white, yeah. But when and when you experience, yeah, you get the grace from the universe to experience it. You can't just take it. You can't just read about it. You get given it from grace the from the universe. When you get Does the, the universe have intelligence? The universe has a conscious, and why, what makes the sun come up and go down? What you think is by luck? What you think is by some big bang? But you're saying you don't believe in God, Allah. but then yeah, you're saying the universe. The universe is God. You do, you, when you when you take away, yeah, it's a trigger word. It's a name, yeah. It's yeah. exactly the same thing. But what I'm trying to say is, when you can experience it and see God in everything, you live a different life. Like I said to you, I don't see myself as a man. I don't see myself so as a. So if I was to say to you, 
it's, it's different concept. If I was to say to you right now, point out God, Everyone, where would you point? Everything. I, I think we're going to go and out, go on. This guy, her, this boy, he's closest to God than me because he was born uh, just now, recently, yeah? So he's experienced God because he's been in the womb, the creative womb. Yeah. But where are you getting all this from? Because Bro, experience. Let me, let me tell you one thing. In, like in Islam, said, in Islam. It's just not How do you know, bro? Well, you I haven't mean, read it. Read you it. haven't read it. If you talk about I would the, fire in the womb and the breath going in, yeah, I'll believe it. But if it doesn't, then it's not in here. It's in other texts. It's yeah. in other, like, smaller texts. I've read grants from Kabir. Read These chapter 94. I will. Yeah, chapter 94. I, I think you'll find it today. I have to bounce, man. Yeah. But, but very quickly, I just want to say that look, in Islam, just in response to what you're saying I about know. the creation. Yeah. Yeah. I know, go on. We in Islam, we believe that we only worship the Creator, not the So, you're saying that statement you made about the child, like, I wouldn't say he's part of God. I would say that, look, you're right in the sense that, look, he has a better connection with God because the fit of the natural inclination, because he's younger, the society hasn't corrupted him, and we have that belief in one God and worshiping God. But then saying that he's part of God, you know, when you say, if, I, if you was to ask me, where is God? I wouldn't point everywhere. This I'll guy, point this above. Guy is God right now. Yeah. Well. yeah. Let me ask you. That's blasphemy. Let me ask you one thing. Let me ask you one thing. Here you got time, my bro. I'm gonna respect your time. Do you know that you got an eye on your atom apple? Was that yeah, by design? I put it there. By design, yeah. yeah. And you know what that is? Go on. That's an opening. I didn't even choose this. This was this coming. I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you as I like, go. This came as a. This one. This one's more the Christian narrative, but you can read through yeah, whatever yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Abraham makes it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm as well. Look, look, when you pass it through here again? I come here every day. I'll every day. Again. Saturdays. Saturdays? Because uh, I'm not really Monday here Monday to Friday. Monday yeah, yeah. Friday. I'll be here tomorrow, but I don't think you're going to have a really chance to be through. This conversation was for a purpose anyway, yeah? Thank you so much. What's your name, by the way? Where's Bridwan? Take it easy, my bro. Thanks so much.